If you've been trying to grow a YouTube channel, I know the pain so well. It's been over a year as I've been trying to grow this channel and you know I have big goals to get this channel to a million subscribers. And what I have to do, like I said in one of my previous videos, is I gotta provide you guys more value. So what I'm gonna do is help you guys find a way to drive traffic from YouTube back to your websites to help you get more work like I've gotten work on YouTube. So I'm gonna give you seven tips today on how to grow a YouTube channel, what you should be thinking about, and what are the big considerations. And if you stay with me till the end, I'll give you an eighth one as a bonus, like I always do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another training video. I'm Adrian Boisel, and if you are just now tuning in, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that YouTube shows more of my content and that you get updated. That's what's most important to me, is you. And so I'm creating content to help you rank on YouTube to get to those thousand subscribers, to monetize a channel, and most importantly, generate revenue from YouTube. That's what you really are going to wanna do this for, is to generate revenue, to attract clients, to get more client work, and to build your authority as an expert in your space. But there's a lot of quirks, a lot of algorithms, a lot of tricks, a lot of hacks, and you can go and find tons and tons of videos and spend countless hours. My goal is to make one channel that's gonna help you learn how to actually maximize your visibility, your promotion, your branding, and all the different aspects that you need to become the best designer possible. And that's why we even created a second channel, Instagraphics, for the tutorials. So today's video is really important for you if you've been trying to grow on YouTube or you're considering being a YouTuber. It doesn't matter whether it's for your design business or for a passion of yours. If you wanna grow on YouTube, these methods that I'm gonna to talk to you about today, these seven methods, are going to be huge for your growth. And these are things that I've implemented into my own channel that have given me the growth that I have. I still have a long way to go. We just about to hit that 5,000 mark. I know I'll do that here in the next couple weeks and probably beyond that, but I wanna share these with you because that's why I create these videos to begin with. So number one is your channel needs to have a topic. If you don't have a topic for your channel, you are going to struggle. I struggled with this myself. This was the first area and thing that one of my mentors taught me is that I needed to hone in on my topic. Before I was talking about entrepreneurship and marketing and SEO and lead generation. Guess what? Those are all topics within my main topic, but now I have a main focus for who I'm actually talking to. My goal for this channel is to help designers. So every video that I, that I do, you'll see in the titles, in the descriptions, in the tags, it is all about graphic designers. Designers in general, but more about graphic designers. I know that once I maximize and I capitalize and I have good market saturation on graphic designers and speaking to them, and all the different topics that I cover, then I can add another lane to my highway and start focusing on web designers or motion designers. We're going to continue to expand. But we have to fill up that first lane first. So that's my big thing for you guys, is I want you to focus on what the topic is. Is it homeschooling? Is it design? Is it logo design? The more niche you get, the better the results you can get, but you don't wanna to go too niche to where you pigeonhole and you have a hard time finding other topics. So make sure that it's broad enough, like graphic designer, that opens me up to endless content from graphic design gadgets, like you know me probably from that, from that video, or graphic design software, or graphic design uh, tools, and all the different things that I cover around graphic design, graphic design marketing, all those things that I help graphic designers with, I'm speaking and I have one specific targeted topic. What that's also known as is a value proposition. So find that value proposition and who you're gonna give that value to, it's really important you do that. That's what's gonna help you get ranked in the suggested videos. And that's why my videos are starting to come up more and more in suggested videos. Number two, you need to be looking at what is trending right now. Is it cryptocurrency? Is it Elon Musk? Is it SpaceX? Is it politics? Find the things that are trending within your niche and go after those. I actually did some research and that's one of the things that I do a lot of before I make these videos is finding out what are the areas and topics that I can cover right now that are trending. This will help you significantly increase your reach and if you keep your, your title simple and you go after the right audience and you have the right topics, your channel will do really, really well. Number three is your title, your thumbnail, your description, and your tags. These are huge. The thumbnail is probably one of the biggest keys along with your title and description, but your thumbnail, if, if you have a great video with great content and a great title, but your thumbnail is terrible, no one's gonna click on it. 
You wanna get people to click on it so you wanna make a beautiful title. There's a whole nother video I'm gonna make about just your thumbnails. And I think that's really important for you as a business owner and as somebody that wants to grow on YouTube is understanding how to make your thumbnails look perfect so that people actually want to click on them. Whether that's having the bars behind it, having the bright text, the vibrant backgrounds, the nice photos of you know, pushing on a desk, whatever that is, you gotta make sure you have a good thumbnail. And then your title. Make sure you have the keyword that's actually you're trying to rank for in that title and that actually relates to human beings. Don't just make it for just the search engines. Even though YouTube is a search engine, you wanna make sure that when people read it, that it actually hooks them and grabs them and then the thumbnail matches. And when they click on that, a big part of that is the description and that's gonna help that video actually show up at the top. Make sure you have a detailed description of everything you're talking about with time stops. If you don't know about time stops, this is something you wanna go look up on Google. You can look it up on YouTube. You can find different ways to look that up. Maybe I'll make a video on time stops, but it's a pretty straightforward and simple thing. It's putting time stops for each of the different sections that you cover in your video. This is a really important thing and we're even gonna do that in this video. The last piece here is your tags. If you don't put tags in there, your video is gonna to struggle to rank. Your first five tags are the most important, so making sure that you have the title of your video as a tag. Now, don't get me wrong, it's the first part of your title. You don't have to put the entire title of your video as a tag, but you wanna make sure you have the first half that has the keyword that you're trying to focus on in the title, so like seven gadgets that every graphic designer needs. I put that as my main title tag in there, and then I have Graphic designer, that's another tag. I have graphic design gadgets, graphic design tools. It's important that you focus those tags on the topic of the video, and then you can go in there and use tools like TubeBuddy and vidIQ and Morning Fame to actually improve those titles over time and find the right titles that are actually gonna drive that traffic. Tags are really, really important. They're a key step in actually optimizing your videos to get ranked, to get viewed, but you gotta make sure that your title and your thumbnails are on point. Number four is you wanna to cover topics that your subscribers actually want. The people that are currently subscribed to your channel that have been following you, that are loyal fans, that are coming back for your videos, those are your biggest and highest priority people that you wanna make sure you're making videos for them. So ask them in the community posts, in other places like social media, and even in your videos themselves, ask them what they want. What are the co topics, what are the conversations? And that's a good opportunity. Just like right now, if there's a topic that you want me to cover, I want you to put that in the description of this video so I can make more videos for stuff that you want because most likely you're a subscriber. And if you're not a subscriber, this is another opportunity right now to hit that button and subscribe and I wanna hear from you. So make sure you hit that like button too, you hit the subscribe button because we need to stay in touch and I wanna know what you really need. And that's what's most important is you're listening to your audience. And number five is you need to attract new visitors and people that are not already subscribers. There are a ton of people that are probably watching your channel or going to watch your channel that haven't subscribed yet. You haven't convinced them that it's worth the subscription for your notifications. So what you need to do is keep adding value, keep focusing on topics that are gonna attract new people. There's a number of ways that you can do that. Trending topics is a good one. Trainings has been my biggest way, either trainings like this or tutorials. This has been a really good way to reach new people. And when I did my graphic design trends video, it was great for engagement and for views, but I actually found that my Jeff Lerner video, where I was sharing some of the gold nuggets that I pulled from my mastermind call, was actually even better for subscribers. So that was able to attract part of his audience. They call it social hacking, I believe, is the keyword that they use for that. But using some of the other celebrities and people who are spending a ton of money on marketing on YouTube, Andre Jeeks and Peter McKinnons, using their names and using their styles and some of their content in your stuff and giving them attention and love is gonna help you attract their audience. So this is a really important way that I've been able to grow my channel. I put on Tom Villiers' interview from one of my events. I got Jeff Lerner's interview and, and information from Jeff Lerner. I've done this with a few different people now and it's really made a big impact on my channel. And this is something that you can do as well to attract these new visitors to your site so that it's not people, the same people seeing your stuff over and over again, but you're actually bringing in new people as well. Number six, you ready? This is a big one. You need to create three different types of videos. You'll notice on my channel that I have three different types of videos. We have the Project Grow Show episodes, which I also use that content for the podcast. We have the kind of more natural blog, vlog style videos where I'm out at the BDB Mastermind event and doing stuff like that. And then I have the training videos that I do just like this. 
And those three different types of videos are important for engagement, for views, and for subscribers. You wanna mix it up and not just do the same kind of videos every single time. People will get bored, they'll get annoyed with it, and actually showing and documenting some of your life and doing trainings and doing some interviews, these are great ways to mix it up, to change things. I'm gonna be refining this process a little bit more as I go, I don't know how long. I will keep the Project Grow style interviews on this channel because they get decent watch time, but they're really long and those a lot of people struggle. So you wanna focus on creating content that's gonna keep them engaged for a long period of time because Google rewards people that, that keep videos active, that keep their users engaged on a video for a long period of time. And that's gonna help you get more suggested, more of the recommended videos, and that's gonna help your channel grow super, super fast. So make sure that you're doing a little bit diversified of a method, not just all tutorials and all the same style of tutorials. Actually mix it up a little bit. Do some tutorials, do some trainings, do some portfolio, do some short films, mix it up. And this is really important. And that actually leads me to number seven, is as you mix it up and you start testing some of these different things, number seven, is testing and learning and trying different things to see what's working and what's not working. YouTube is a marathon, it's not a sprint. If you go into this thinking that you're gonna start and in six months you're gonna have a million subscribers, you're gonna be really disappointed. This is a great opportunity for you to learn what your audience and what the people that are most interested in who you are as a person and your story want to see and what they don't want to see. And you can ask them, you can use these videos and they can see your inflections, they can see your personality and your style, and you can use these to connect with them and get that feedback from them. This is so important. And so testing things, implementing new things into your videos and trying different styles of videos is a way that you'll be able to see where the success is leaving clues. And when I do anything graphic design related, and this was about seven months ago now, or six months ago probably, I started to notice that anything graphic design related for some reason was skyrocketing in the amount of views compared to other videos that I was doing that was more marketing driven to regular entrepreneurs. As soon as I started focusing it on people like you that are motion, web, and graphic designers, the channel started to skyrocket. And so now I'm doing more and more of that, but I wanna change up the style of content. So I'm gonna be doing more documenting, maybe 15 to 20 minute videos, and this is gonna be a lot of fun. So that's a really important one. That's number seven, is on starting to test things out, try new things, and don't just stay stale with the same type of content over and over and over again. And I got a bonus for you. Number seven actually wasn't the last one. The last one that I have for you is playlists. Playlists are awesome. I promise if you stayed to the end, this would be worth it. If you have a playlist like I have, you'll notice on my channel, you can look at mine as the model. I have perfect your brand, dominate online, make more money, and then the project grow episodes. These playlists, you can actually go in there and put detailed descriptions with the keywords for your channel that you're trying to make the topic around, and you put those descriptions for each of those. When you're talking about perfecting your brand as a graphic designer, I'm gonna help you perfect your brand with training videos and tutorials and interviews that are gonna help you understand how to actually create a million dollar brand. Things like that, that's just an example. So when you actually go in and actually build these playlists out with the right keywords in it, you wanna use your keywords, right? Branding, dominating online, marketing, and having those keywords in the descriptions, that's gonna be a big help for you as well. So this is a lot of content. I hope you wrote it all down. If you didn't, go back and start the video over again, get a notepad, because this video will help you skyrocket your channel. And I have more videos like this to come that are gonna go even deeper. You may not believe you can go deeper, but you actually can. I have some of the best mentors in the world, and I would be honored to be your mentor. mentor. If you wanna join our community, our mentorship community, it's called Instagraphics Pro Network. You can join for free on Facebook. There's a link down in the description of this video. I would be honored and it would be fun to have you. We post great stuff. There's a lot of people sharing stuff in there, inspiration, ideas, and motivational stuff. So I'm so grateful that you took the time to watch this video today. My name is Adrian Boisel. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, keep looking up.